Right. In this video, we're going to add decimals, subtract decimals, multiply decimals, and then divide and go through the rules. Okay, up first, let's add some decimals. We have 79.17 plus 76.51. The key to decimals is lining up the decimal point um, in a straight line. So with this, I'm going to rewrite. Okay, notice that the decimals are lined up. And then we just add like you do normally. And 7 plus 1 is 8. And then we have 6. Bring down the decimal. 9 plus 6 is 15. Carry the 10 here. So it would be 155.68. Again, the key is the decimals are lined up properly. Now on this next one, we'll have to adjust a little things. We have 12.27 plus 1.129. So I'm going to put the 1 here, then the decimal. Now what I can do, I can add a 0 to 12.27, and now I just add normally. 9, 9, 3, make sure I bring down the decimal, and then 3 and 1. So it's 13.399. The key was, notice that I lined up the decimal, and then I added a zero there. Same thing again. We're going to show you, make sure it's up. I'm going to move this up a little bit, that the decimals are lined up. Now we have 71.97. If you'd like, you can add a zero on top. Notice that I have lined the decimals up, and then we just add them normally. Bring over the one, and then this becomes two. 3, and that is 4, and 9 plus 7 is um, 16, carry the 1, and then that is 264.47. Make sure you bring down the decimal. Again, the key on each of these is I line up the decimals. Now let's move on to subtraction. Now when we subtract decimals, we do the same thing in that we need to line up the decimals. And here's what I mean. We have 6.5, and then we have minus 1. Well, 1 does not have a decimal. It has a decimal, but if you don't see 1 before, it's going to be right at the end. So I'm going to put 1 point, and then I'm going to add a 0. Okay? Notice, again, the decimals are lined up. So now 5 minus 0 is z is. 5, bring down the decimal, and 6 minus 1 is 5, so it is 5.5. Now let's do the next one, and we have 2.7. We're going to line up the decimals minus 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Now subtract normally, 7 minus 1 is 6, 2 minus 0 is 2, so it becomes 2.6. Number six in subtraction, you may be wondering why is it written like this? Because the first time through I made a mistake, so uh, you have to be very careful. Remember, when you subtract, you line up the decimals, 11.51. The decimals are lined up properly, now I just subtract like normal. I know one minus one is zero. Here's where I made the mistake, four minus five, four is smaller than five, so I need to borrow ten. Well, technically I can't borrow the ten from here, I need to borrow it all the way over from this 2, so it becomes a 1. This will become a 9, and this will become a 14. So I failed to reduce the 2, so I made a mistake. Now 14 minus 5 is 9. Bring down the decimal, okay? 9 minus 1 is 8, and then 1 minus 1 is 0. So it is 8.90. So again, when you subtract, the key is you line up the decimals properly. Now, let's go on to division. Okay, when you multiply decimals, all you do is just multiply it normally and add the numbers to um, the right of the decimal. So in this instance, we have 8 times 0.2. So I'm going to go 8 times 2 equals 16. And then I know I need at least one number to the right of the decimal. So I'm going to add a decimal there. So it's 1.6. 1.6 1 
Now we have 6.6 times 2. Okay, I'm going to act like there is no decimal there. So I'm going to go 66 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. Carry the 1. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 1 is 132. And I need one number to the right of the decimal. So it becomes 13.2. Okay. Now let's try. Now let's go 1.62 1, 1 times 22. I'm just going to rewrite 162 times 22. Okay, remember I multiply and then I count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal. 2 times 2 is 4. Um, 2 times 6 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 324. I'm going to repeat that, but 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 6 is 12. And then carry the 1 again. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 324. Add, we have 4, 6, 5, 3. But now I need to count how many decimals are to the right. It looks like 1, 2, 3, 4. So I need 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right of the decimal. So it ends up being 0.3564. So in summary, what we do is you just multiply it normally and count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal and your answer needs to have the same number. Now, let's divide. Okay, now when you divide, you just need to move the decimal up. Let me show you an example. We have 8.8 .8 divided by 2, okay? So now, before I begin, I'm going to go ahead and just move the decimal up, and now I can divide normally. 2 goes into 8. Four times. Four times two is eight. Now I subtract. Eight minus eight is zero. Now I bring down. Okay. Two goes into eight four times. Four times two is eight. Subtract, and that is zero. So it is 8.8 .8 divided by two is 4.4. .4. Now we have 0.84 divided by 7. Bring the decimal up, and now just start dividing. 7 goes into 8 one times. 1 times 7 is 7. Now I subtract. 8 minus 7 is 1. I bring down. Okay, now I divide. 7 goes into 14 two times. Multiply. 2 times 7 is 14. I subtract. That is 0. So the answer of 0.84 divided by 7 is 0.12. Now this last one, we have one more rule you need to apply. And that is, I'm going to write 77.4 and then I have 0.3. Well, what I need to do is I need to move the decimal so you have a whole number. So I need to move the decimal one place to the right. So I need to do the same here. So I'm going to move it one place to the right. That means the decimal will be right there. Now I just divide like 774 divided by 3. 3 divides into 7. Uh, what is that? 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. I bring down the 7. I now divide. 3 goes into 17 five times. I multiply. Five times three is 15. Okay, I subtract. 17 minus 15 is two. I bring down. And three goes into 24 eight times. Eight times three is 24. And therefore, the answer is... Um, 24 minus 24 is 0, so the answer is 258 point, if you'd like, you can add a 0, 258. I hope that helps in subtraction, multiplication, addition, and division of decimals. Thanks for watching, and MooMooMath uploads a new math and 
science video every day. Please subscribe and share.